It's one in the morning. Emma woke up like usual. My allergies are horrible. I barely slept like 20 minutes. I went to bed like maybe 10. Emma is now up and yeah, I don't know. So, I hope you can see me. All right, so, uh, tomorrow morning we're supposed to leave for Nashville, Tennessee. It's a, it's a crazy, crazy week. World War III is almost starting with Russia invading Ukraine. There's a huge cold front that's supposed to hit America. Um, Emma didn't sleep all last night. I'm sweating right now upstairs in her house because at this time of the year in Phoenix, it's very hot throughout the day, very cold in the mornings and at night. And as you can see, Emma does not like that either. Um, this is just one of those trips that just came out of nowhere. We have to pack, we haven't even packed. We are not prepared. And if this week was enough, I am dealing with some very bad, horrible allergies. Hey, where are you going, Emma? Where are you going, Stinky? Where are you going? Huh? Are you ready for uh, Tennessee and Alabama? Are you ready for your first time in the South? You ready to try some gator tacos? Where's the balloon? Where? Where's the balloon? Yay! There's the balloon. We got two hours of sleep last night. Stinky Emma's right here, having the time of her life. Our Uber gets here in one hour, and Stephanie is just starting to pack right now. What'd you think, Emma? You think mommy is cutting a little too close? Yes. You're awfully positive today for this very stressful endeavor. How do you feel? I think that's just, ugh, I lost my necklace. Now I'm stressed. How do you really feel though? Baba. Yeah? Baba. Okay, it's a rough night for you too. All right, thank you. Time for an adventure. That was actually very hectic, very hectic to get Emma on this plane. And that was gonna be very hectic to pick up all that luggage in Nashville and uh, get our car and then take all of that crap to the hotel. So we pick up our uh, Enterprise rental car and the first thing that happens as soon as we exit the airport is we get into uh, some huge traffic. Before we check into our hotel, we go straight to Broadway. We're exhausted though, barely able to walk and we're starving. Emma is cranky and so are we. We need to find a spot that isn't very loud and isn't a bar. Two things that best describe Broadway. Nashville is the capital and most populous city of Tennessee with a population of 689,000. Named for Francis Nash, a general of the Continental Army during the American Revolutionary War, the city was founded in 1779. Commonly known as Music City, it's a major center for country music. Recently, Nashville has become an increasingly popular destination for bachelor and bachelorette parties, with one of the most popular parts of the city, Broadway, acting like a smaller southern Las Vegas. Live music at every bar, a young, thirsty crowd, and plenty of booze. After stumbling around drunk on exhaustion, we randomly enter the Buquiera a Barcelona-style tapas bar serving Spanish classics, seasonal specials, and curated cocktails. And best of all, it opened two days ago. While it wasn't what we were hoping to eat at the time and it didn't have baby high chairs yet, the food was interesting and pretty good, although a little bougie and expensive, so more catered for the experience of it. I don't know how the hell we ended up at a Spanish restaurant while looking for some good southern food in, in 
Tennessee. We ended up at a, at a Spanish restaurant that opened up literally last week. Last week? This week? Monday, they opened, what, what's today? Holy crap, they opened two days ago. We didn't have high chairs, Emma wasn't happy. She doesn't yeah. like being strapped. We're, we're, so, we're so crazy tired. Uh, it's beautiful here, but we need to go back to our hotel check in, get some rest. Maybe I can go out and get some late night snacks, beer, ice cream, but uh, Emma, is, uh, Emma is out for the night. Oh, I'm gonna take off my shoes after this long freaking day. Whew. What a day. We have made it here to downtown Nashville at our hotel, the Clarion. We're so tired. It's 6.30 right now. So freaking exhausted. We got some beautiful views of the freeway right here. Uh, we actually have the riverfront behind us. I just want to do this. Oh, Go oh daddy. my goodness. Is that daddy? Emma was so over it. Hey, Stinky. Are you happy that we're at a hotel now? Thank you, Daddy, for finally taking me out of my car seat and stroller. My little princess. Mm. This hotel is actually pretty, pretty decent, pretty good. And it was on the cheaper side. Huh? It's March, so it's spring break. <laughs> Everything is crazy expensive here in Nashville this month, including our rental car. You want to say something to the millions watching on YouTube? So Emma had the biggest poop of her life when we were uh, coming out of the plane. You know, the first thing we stopped at was was the bathroom and she pooped a lot. It was one of her biggest blowouts right on command of all time. This is blowing some crazy cold air, but you can't turn it off. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus Christ. After freezing our butts out for like an hour, me like an idiot didn't even see that. There's a thing on the wall for you to turn off the AC. I kept turning it off over here because that's what caught my eye first. I don't know. Dude, it's seven o'clock and we have no energy to do anything. All right, we're gonna go explore the Clarion. This is how we look right now. <laughs> Great, I don't know what you're talking about. So after exploring for about 19 seconds, we have sat down and ordered this incredible brownie ice cream. It does what we do, it takes pictures of things. <laughs> Since we're bored, alone, and tired in the room, there's only one thing we can do, pillow fight. Second half, she napped the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> really Pillow fight! And I was gonna go pink <laughs> on me. I just, I'm praying Good morning. We slept a lot better last night. Mm. Emma had to sleep with us in the bed. They didn't have a crib, but we got some rest where we feel so much freaking better. Emma's naked right now. Where's my belly? Um, I ran downstairs, they, they do offer a breakfast till 10.30. There's biscuits and gravy, really southern. There's sausage and eggs, pastries. We got some pastries, a little bit of coffee. We're gonna go to another breakfast spot that I just Googled. And then today's gonna be an adventurous day. Hopefully we got a bunch of stuff uh, planned. So we'll see where we get to, right Emma? Let's put on some clothes. Time to get the fluck out. It's time to go on an adventure. Keep forgetting that's automatic. It's a very fresh morning here in Nashville. We are right next to the arena. Downtown is like four minutes away from this hotel, so it's, it's actually a great spot. Uh, there's a nice little riverfront over here, but a really cool bridge that gets lit up at night. I wanna see if I can try to maybe fly a drone around it or, or take a little walk around that either today or tomorrow. Uh, but right now we're strapping at my end and uh, we're going for breakfast. This is the second day where we try to park at these metropolis parking spaces and they don't work. So I really don't know if I should just leave my car here and just go and metropolis, if you're watching this, fix your Bro. So it takes us about two hours to get ready this morning. We finally get out the door. We come to beautiful Nashville. You know, this isn't downtown, but we're close to downtown. We come here finally to have some amazing breakfast. And Stephanie tells me that we can't exit the car for another 30 minutes because her daughter, Emma, Miss Royal Highness over here, has to nap. We can't wake her up. So we're sitting here for another 30 minutes. And then, if, if, if Emma allows us, then we might go and grab some breakfast. So maybe... We'll see you guys there. Royal Highness of Dutch, Dutchland. I don't know. Look at this chick wearing boots. Look at that, that style right there. That's the Nashville style. That's Nashville right there. That's how you know you're in Nashville. I'm not knocking your style. I'm not knocking your style, Nashville. That's awesome. Shorts and boots. Let's do it.
pub it is. So the other place was supposed to have really good breakfast, but the line was up the butt So uh, we're here across the street at the pub, and they actually start serving brunch at 10, so there was like no line, of course. Why can't you just say the long line? Because that's f***ing boring. Her booty just flew. Did you just throw that, you little stinky? One, two, three, go. Oh, What? You literally spill. We didn't go to that biscuit place. It was very popular, but it was full of hippies, and I don't like hippies. Anyways, for all the rest of you hippies, I'm gonna show you guys a couple uh, spots around Nashville. If you want that really cute, cheesy Instagram photo, um, actually Stephanie found these spots, but there are two murals where you can take that Instagram famous photo, and uh, it's gonna be in the corner, the location. There you are. Done taking taking photos next to murals. That is the top thing you can do in Nashville. There's nothing else, just murals. Uh, there's these four murals here. Just murals. After you take a photo with these murals, you can have go top ten. You can, murals. After you take a photo of these four murals, you can go home because you're done with Nashville. There's nothing else to see here. I'm, I'm being very, I'm kidding a lot, yeah. But to us and to Stephanie, this is the only thing you can do in Nashville. We're done.